Welcome for the homework for lesson two of the first module of second grade. Write your name first. Do that right there. We're working with number bonds and fact families again to start off with. Either add or subtract. And for the second one, B, we're going to draw a number bond. For, the, for A, we already have a number bond drawn for us. Here are the parts. 6 and 2, those are add ends. Those are just numbers we add. And 8's the total. And 6 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 6. And we also use number bonds for subtraction, right? You start with the total. In subtraction, we call it a menu end. And then here's the subtrahend, that's what we take away, that's one of the parts. If you take away one of the parts, you're going to have the other part left. So 6 is the difference there. And we have it now we're 8 minus 6. If we take away the other part, then we have the, we take away the 6, and we have the 2 left. So you notice that we have the, the 6, the 2, and the 8 in all of these number sentences, but it really matters. You've got to watch these symbols carefully subtraction, addition, and the equal sign. You gotta watch where those are because it really matters where you put the numbers. For B, here we have a total and then an equal sign and then the addition symbol. So here we go. Draw this number bond. And we know that the add ends are three and five. Those are the parts. And you could count up from five six, seven, eight to figure out the total, eight. And it doesn't matter if you start with the five and count up three, or if you start with the three and count up five, either way it's going to be eight. And now we're looking at subtraction. So in subtraction, eight is going to be our menu end. That's the number we start with before we subtract. If we, take, if we subtract the three, five will be our difference. And if we subtract the five, three will be our difference. Number two, we're just solving these. We're not drawing number bonds for them. <clears throat> these are all adding to tens. When I talk about tens, what I mean is the numbers you say when you count by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. Those are tens. That's what I call them. <clears throat> so we have 20 plus four more, 24, right? If you were drawing quick tens, it would look like this. You'd have two tens, right? 20 would be two tens, and you'd have one, two, three, four. If you're using quick tens, 10, 20, 4, 24. So this is just a 40 and 3, 43, 70 and 2, 72, 80 and 5, that's eight tens and five ones. That's how we that's how we look at that's how we read numbers. And now, now we have totals. Our totals are all on the left, but we're still adding. These are all going to be addition. So 20 plus 9, 29, 40 plus 8, 48, 50 plus 6, 56, and 90 plus 7, 97. Now, if, you, if it helps you to draw the quick tens like you did for that first one, you can, you can draw for all of them if you want. Uh, but you don't have to. And now we're solving some more. Now these are a lot like the ones we just did, except now we're looking at these. Uh, in problem two, these were all just, we had to find the totals, right? These are all missing add-in problems. So if we're looking, we want 14 looking at a number bond, right? If we had 14 for one of them, you don't have to draw a number bond for all of these, but I just want to show this so you get an idea of what it is you're supposed to do. You've got 10 here, and then what's this one? That's what this question is asking, right? So 10 and what makes 14? It's 10, 4, right? Now you could have counted it up to figure that out, right? You could have also drawn quick 10s, right? So 10, and you need 14, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you know there, that's what you need was that four more. So it, all of those will work for these. 
if you want to use those. Uh, but you might be able to just see we're looking for 20. There's the 20 right there. You can look at that tens digit. Use the digits for these. It's even faster. 20 and 3. Well, we need that 3. 70 and 1. There's the tens digit. That's 70. We just need one more. We look at the tens digit here. 8. That means 80. 8 tens is 80. And then we just need two more. Two more ones. And now we're looking at these, but some more of them. We have a total of 19. Now we have the ones digits here, but we have to we have to write in the tens, right? We're missing the ones. We're, we have the ones, but now we're missing the tens. So 19, we already have the nine there, right? That's the nine. That's the nine ones. We just need that one ten. Now don't write a one here because one plus nine is ten. It's not nineteen, right? Here, let me clean this up. So it's just be careful about that. What we need is 10 more. It's 110 because the tens digit tells us how many tens there are. So what we really want is 10 plus 9 there. And here we have we have a 9 again in the ones for the ones digit. And we have a 2 for the tens digit. Two tens is 20, so we need 20 more. And now we're looking at 78. We have our ones digit, right? We have eight ones. What we need is the seven tens, and seven tens is 70. And if you don't know where that comes from, you could count it up by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's seven, seven tens. All right, 87. We have the seven. We have the seven ones. We just need that eight tens, and eight tens is 80. So we'll just be careful about that. We're not writing an that we're not just writing down the digit for the tens place. This is addition, so we're not, we can't add digits like that. Uh, we're, we need, we're counting tens. That's one ten, that's two, this is 29, that's two tens, is 20, not two. And 78, that's seven tens is 70, not seven, right? And then eight tens here, that eight, that tens is just eight, it's 80, it's not eight. Right, it's 80. That's what we're really adding. Uh, we'll keep going here. On the second page, we have a number bond dash. Get your name on this page, too. <clears throat> now, the timer for the number bond dash, it says do as many as you can in 90 seconds right here. Uh, there's a lot. There's a few different ways you can do this. I, there's a really a lot of different ways you can do it, but I suggest there's like three different ways you can do it. Use, set a timer. You can use uh, you can use one a microwave oven will have a timer. You can ask Siri or Alexa or Cortana or whoever you use and say, "Hey Siri, set a timer for 90 seconds," and she'll start. She'll give you a few seconds to get ready, and then she'll start counting down, and you get a little chirp. Now, if you don't like those alarms, you know you can just do as many as you just finish the sheet and time yourself and see how long it takes. And then the next time you do a page like this. Try and beat your record. See if you can do it faster. You can do it that way too. And you don't have to stop when the 90 seconds is over. Don't expect to finish the whole thing. A lot of times you won't. So if you don't finish the whole thing, you can just keep going. You don't have to stop just because the, you know, the beeper beeps and it tells you that the 90 seconds is up. 90 seconds is a minute and a half. But even on a microwave timer, you can put in 90 for 90 seconds and it'll count down. And here you're just looking for, these are just all ways to make nine, right? So I'll just, uh, I'll just write in some of the answers here so you can check them when you're done, right? Eight and one, seven and two, eight and one, seven and two, nine and zero, three and six, two and seven, three and six, four and five, eight and one. Eight and one. Now I'm just writing these in so that you can check them. Ooh, that's seven and two. <laughs> I got one wrong. All right. That's seven and two. I can't talk and do math at the same time. Two and seven, six and three, five and four, three and six, two and seven. You don't have to keep up with me. I'm just writing these in so that you can 
have the to have answers to check. If you do set a timer and uh, you set it for 90 seconds and you don't finish, just circle the last one that you did when the timer beeped and then you can just keep going and finish the rest of them. That way you'll know how many you did in 90 seconds and you'll remember for the next time. You can compare it to the next time you try it.